law of variable proportion in this clip i am going to tell you how to draw the graph that illustrates law of variable proportion three stages of returns in which stage a prudent producer will operate relation between total product and marginal product relation between average product and marginal product first let us try to understand how to draw the graph that illustrates law of variable proportion draw the y axis draw the x axis label them clearly state the variables that are measured along the y axis and x axis first draw the total product curve name it it raises first to the right reaches the maximum and then falls in the racing part it must concave upwards then concave downwards draw the marginal product curve name it the maximum point of the marginal product curve must be directly below the point of inflection this is the point at which the total product curve turns from concavity to convexity draw the average product curve and name it see the marginal product curve cuts its maximum point from above now you have to show the three phases of the law to show the first phase draw a vertical line exactly at the peak of average product to show the second phase draw a vertical line exactly at the point where marginal product becomes zero show the three stages that completes our graph the three stages of returns let us examine what happens in these stages first stage increasing returns total product is increasing average product increases and reaches the maximum marginal product increases and reaches the maximum then it falls it cuts the average product at its maximum point there ends the first stage reasons for increasing returns indivisibility of fixed factor specialization of labor second stage decreasing returns
total product is increasing at a decreasing rate average product is decreasing marginal product is also decreasing it becomes zero the second stage ends here Reasons for decreasing returns. Non-optimal factor proportion. Imperfect substitution of factors. Third stage, negative returns. Total product decreases. Average product decreases but remains positive. Marginal product also decreases but it is negative. That's all about the three stages. In which stage a prudent producer will operate? We shall examine this. In the first stage, marginal product of the fixed factor is negative. In the third stage, marginal product of labor is negative. Only in the second stage, marginal product of both fixed and variable factors are positive. A producer will operate only in this stage. How many units of variable factor the producer will employ and how much output he will produce depends upon the price of the variable factor, that is labor. Relationship between total product and marginal product. First relation, when the marginal product is positive, total product increases. Again, when marginal product increases, total product is increasing at an increasing rate. Second relation. When the marginal product reaches the maximum, the total product will be increasing at a constant rate. This happens exactly at the point of inflection. Third relation. When marginal product decreases but is positive, the total product is increasing at a decreasing rate. Fourth relation. When the marginal product is zero, total product reaches the maximum. Fifth relation, when the marginal product is negative, the total product decreases. These are the relations between total product curve and the marginal product curve. Relation between average product and marginal product. First relation. So long 
marginal product is greater than average product. Average product curve slopes upwards. In other words, when average product is sloping upwards, marginal product curve lies above the average product curve. Second relation. When the marginal product is less than average product, average product curve slopes downwards. It can also be stated as when the average product curve is sloping downwards, marginal product curve lies below the average product curve. Third relation. At the maximum point of average product, marginal product curve cuts the average product curve from above. It means when the average product reaches the maximum, marginal product becomes equal to average product. At last, a point to note. In the squared area, though marginal product starts falling, average product continues to rise because marginal product is greater than average product. And that ends our discussion.